Today I'll be discussing a common formula used for calorimetry questions. This formula is E equals MC delta T. So this is the formula E equals MC delta T. We use this equation for calorimetry questions where a reaction occurs in solution and a water changes temperature depending on whether the reaction absorbs or releases energy. The E in this reaction is for energy. The M is for the mass. Now generally when we're using this formula, mass will be the mass of water. Something that changed last year for VCE chemistry is the mass of water. One gram of water is no longer equal to one mil. One mil of water now weighs 0.997 grams. Therefore, when converting a volume to mass of water, you need to multiply the volume by 0.997. So, moving on to our equation, C is our constant for water. Now, usually this is 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius, or it may be 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. When you use this equation, if you use your mass in kilograms, then your answer for energy will be in kilojoules. If you use mass in grams, then your answer will be in joules. And finally, with this equation, delta T is the change in temperature. Is it very important that you use the change of temperature and not just the initial or the final temperature? Thank you for watching this video and hopefully now you will be able to use this formula in your calculations.